Although Charlevoix shares the small, charming towns and relaxed country life that's found throughout the province of Quebec, I've heard the region boasts some of the most dramatic countryside in eastern North America. With the fall colors popping and a cool, wintry chill in the air, I'm kicking things off with the backcountry adventure. I'm setting off for an overnight. Going to be climbing to the top of Monte Morio. Uh, and it's one of the popular summits to do around here. I'm dressed all bundled up. It's been super cold. Temperature has been plummeting over the last few days. And uh, there's actually supposed to be maybe even snow in the forecast. And this is really the first, first uh, bit of adventure I've been able to get out and do here in the Charlevoix region. And uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting up to the summit, posting up at the top and seeing what we can see. Definitely looks slippery. Damn. I think I'm lost. I'm not really sure which way to go. Rope. Thank you for the assistance. It has officially started snowing on us. I am very hopeful that it is just a passing cell. I'm hoping it'll just uh, move on through and that we'll still get a great sunset. But I'm definitely concerned that uh, we might be uh, getting an early snowstorm here uh, in Charlevoix. We'll see. So just looking for a place to put a tent or two. been a bit of an adventure today. As you can tell, um, it's snowing pretty heavily. I guess fall is setting in here in Canada. Cheers guys, it's been fun. Well, last night was pretty rough with the weather. The winds were violent and it was cold, but you know what? Getting to wake up on top of a mountain like this and see the sunrise over a fresh dusting of snow, this is a damn good payoff. Last night's snow was just a glimpse of the things to come in the wintry months ahead. But with the snow gone before I even get down the mountain, I'm surprised to hear there's some dog mushing to be done in the area. So I meet up with Alex Levan, who has used a little creativity to make dog mushing a year-round activity in the Charlevoix region. We moved here in Bessin Paul two years ago because much more activity, yeah, much more uh, tourists, yeah. so much more work for them. And since they are working dogs, uh, if you can make them work all year long, they are uh, happy. Yeah. There are some rest moments, but uh, the more they work, the more they find the real essence of their identity, and uh, which is work. Yeah. And also hug. I <laughs> love. <laughs> hey there, pretty lady. I just met up with Alex, and he runs a dog mushing company. Basically, he has a kennel full of lots of huskies and beautiful dogs. And today, we are going out. It's not winter yet, but it's coming. We're going to head out and actually get on the trail and roll around on these as we're being pulled by these mushing dogs. So it's going to be a fun time. I've never done this before. That's uh, <laughs> it's a long way from anything I've ever done. So I just got introduced to a bunch of the dogs and to Alex, and uh, we're gonna be heading out shortly and actually getting, getting the dogs leashed up and uh, on their harnesses. And we're gonna have a fun day of learning how to mush. Gino! Where's my dog? My bat! Gino! Aha, Gino! 
Where'd you know? Where'd you know? How'd you know? How'd you know? So you want me to give you like three seconds once you go? Nope. Just go right with you. Just go right with me. Okay. Ah. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Hopla. Ah. Hopla. All right. right, Gino. Here we go, baby. Yeah. Let's buggy. Good job, Gino. Good job, Gino. Run like the wind, Gino. Yoo-hoo. Woo. Run, Gino. So Alex and I just ran with the dogs for about 10 kilometers as they were uh, pulling the scooters. They basically just did 10 kilometers like it was nothing. It was such a wild experience. I, I loved it. Just running behind the dogs, it's like you're working as, a, well, you are working as a team and uh, just flowing with the dogs. Sometimes they want to go in the front, sometimes they want to go in the back. It was, it was really cool. I felt like I got to bond a bit with Gino. So they're working dogs, they're not pets. And uh, that was to see them, seeing them in their environment seeing the dogs go do their thing. I I loved it. Yeah, I think Gino was thirsty. She kept trying to like grab some water off the off the road. It was crazy. She'd be like running and coming across a puddle and just scooping it up as we were running. That was such a cool experience. Just being being on there, like yeah. there's, there's no motors or anything. It's just silence. You just hear the yeah. dogs panting and uh, just flying out there. We were yeah. prepared, not cold. Yeah, no, it's perfect. Ready for it. Perfect environment. The dogs are not even tired. Yeah, I think they're ready for the winter season. Yeah. After a wild and fluffy day with my new best friend, Gino, I'm looking forward to exploring more of the rugged and beautiful landscape that Charlevoix is known for. So I'm meeting up with Lawrence Besson, a local backpacker who knows the trails here as well as anyone. So we're currently uh, on the Acropole des Draveurs Trail. Oh yeah? In the Haute Gorge de la Rivière Malbé National Park in the Charlevoix region. And as you may have noticed, this is a pretty steep trail. Yeah, it's but going up. The view at the top will be a great reward for our, our, all the effort. <laughs> so it'll be worth it. Oh yes, definitely. Perfect. <laughs> Wait for it. Although there are a number of trails in the park to choose from, the Acropole de Draveur trail that we're on is the most physically challenging because it involves hiking up more than 2,500 vertical feet. In fact, this park is known for having some of the highest rock walls east of the Rockies. Just started getting into the snow. Uh, it's been very cold, the temperature's been dropping. Looking here, beautiful winter wonderland ahead of us. We're here? Yay! <laughs> wow. So This is a hell of a viewpoint. Yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing up here. That is pretty vertical. So, yeah, that's where we were just before. <laughs> we have come up a long way. Yeah. This is crazy. I don't think, uh, I know that I, coming into this, didn't know how vertical Quebec might be, but uh, there's actually a lot of big upended rock here. This is, this is spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me here. This is so cool. Yeah, thank you for coming, <laughs> for joining place. me. <laughs> yeah. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting to encounter these kinds of dramatic landscapes in Quebec. Yeah. But surprises are one of the most beautiful things about travel. As I stand on top of the Acropole de Draveur Trail, I'm humbled and inspired by the beauty and thankful for the opportunity to discover the magic of Quebec's Charlevoix region.